bad homie with a plug in his sock. Took these Billy Strong cards and now they rip me apart. Now they run around in circles like them kids in the park. Now I'm afraid of the dark, there ain't no monster inside. I pray that Jesus Christ told me they just keep me alive. Why you keep it 53? Cause I've been wrestling with pride. I tried to keep it like I'm Texas, got the stop on my side. Girl, you know I'm a saint, so why you giving me hell? My uncle back up on the block and now they begging for bail. He always calling me for paper cause he know I'm the trail. It's week six of the National Football League. And all eyes are on the dual threat Lamar Jackson. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Ravens and the Commanders, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Built on the side of a former piano factory, there's been plenty of music made on the field here in the decade since it opened back in 1998. Welcome, everyone, to M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Hi there, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football. Not just throwing the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep. weather is not cooperating as we're set to go and we're underway from the bank and he opts not to bring this one out so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. so the commander's offense headed out for their opening drive and leading them out the reigning heisman trophy winner the number two pick in the nfl draft out of lsu Jaden daniels this just feels like a season so far off the rails they can't even see the tracks anymore kate now the outlook is really one week at a time, trying to find that first win. Just got to get gritty and tough. And he's got to be the one who really sparks it for him. Now start the drive with Eckler. And he's brought down for a long. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Now Daniels off the play action. Bails out of the... Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. Now this is the dreaded side. Anytime there's a sack, he's hurting after taking that hit, and they're going to get out there to check on him. Here he is on third and long. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. The Commanders ready for the punt. Deontay Hardy to return this for the Ravens. They needed three punts out of him in last week's loss as he sends this away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So here now are the Ravens on offense to begin their first drive. And they're brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game. It's Lamar Jackson. I think we could give him a pass from last week because they still found a way to win. And that's the ultimate job of a quarterback. But those interceptions, that's not what we're used to seeing out of him week to week. Two touchdowns, though. Well, that's the bar he wants to hit each and every time out. And when he gets there, usually good things follow. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. They'll motion a tight end left. From midfield on second down. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for a Ravens first down. From the gun, a run for Henry. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. And they bring him down around the 34. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. Now Jackson on third down. Finds Aguilar. And he's going to be out of bounds. Looks like a yard or two short of the 25. 
A 70-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Here's Henry on the option. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Halfway there on first down, that brings up second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 22-yard line. From the gun, Jackson. Dump off complete to his running back. And this one does not go far. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. Third and two. Here's Jackson. Complete beyond the marker. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. It's nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. They'll run here with Henry. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold at the line. No game that time, and now it'll be second and goal. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You learn so much about a football team in these goal-to-go situations. You know you got to protect that goal line, and the defense, well, they did the job on first down. More to come. It's second and goal. Here's Lamar. He's got it, room to run. And they will score, it's a Baltimore touchdown! The Ravens have a great first drive and get the game's first points. Derrick Henry, the touchdown. Justin Tucker to try the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Throwing is Mariota. Got a man, Robinson has it. And he almost reaches the 45 before going out. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Now Mariota. The screen pass falls incomplete. Look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia. That is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. That's knocked away by a defender, incomplete. I think you're seeing why they like this guy in coverage, man. He reacts well to throws and is so adept in breaking up passes right through contact or before they ever reach the target. Throw in on third and long. He's on the move. We've got a fumble pretty close to midfield. And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. Well, you don't like to see the fumble, but hey, at least they were able to be the ones to recover it, and they keep possession. Yeah, and I think the key there was to stay calm through the chaos. Cooler heads prevailed and got him the ball back. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. The Ravens and Lamar Jackson ready to go again on offense. And it's not just a blip for him this year. He's been one of their go-to scores on the ground as we get through the heart of this season, leading all quarterbacks in rushing touchdowns. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Ball at the 33 for first down. Running once more with Henry. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stopped right at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Second and ten at the 
Play action. Here's Jackson. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. That play good for 17 and a first down. This set of down starts with an option right. Duke the defender. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 22 on that one. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. Henry running to the left. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for a Ravens first down. Another run for Henry. And he'll get him a handful on that run as we've reached the end of the first. We will... Welcome back. Second quarter about to start. Ravens with a chance for at least three, maybe six. This is Henry on second. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. First down, and they go right back to him. And he falls through the defense for a touchdown. The Ravens pull that in front further, 13 zip. Derrick Henry, the touchdown. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They'll get this drive started, first and 10. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guys' ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call, 1-844-MADDEN-1, and make your case for who should get a boost. Has a man, it's Brown. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Shotgun handoff now to Eckler. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Everyone's prepped, it's second down now. From the gun, it's Daniels. Able to hit Robinson, complete. And he works this to the 38 before going down. You know what I love to say, you never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. He has the first over the middle. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and 10. Play fake here, Daniels. Finds his target, Robinson. And he will score, it's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders start to fight back with their first points of this game. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. On the return, here comes Justice Hill. The tackle's made, so this drive will begin at the 34-yard line. The Ravens are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And he's been more than just his work as a passer this season. Look at this. He's gotten the job done on the ground as well, second among NFL quarterbacks in rushing yards. Pass complete to Walker. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. 
And they've got themselves another first and ten. Out of the gun, Henry. And he can only get a lone yard. Took a couple of guys to haul him down near the line. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Shotgun snap to Jackson. On the move, headed right. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Here's Henry running left. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. That's pretty good right there now. You don't always expect a sizable game when you run it on first down. You just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. All right, here we go. Second down. Lamar now from the gun. He completes it in traffic. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. That's some room to work. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball, Kate. Hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. The nose of the football inside the one. Here's second and goal. Trying to run with Henry. And he's going to fight forward and get it. Touchdown! The Ravens grow their lead just before halftime. Derrick Henry, the touchdown. Well, we've been saying it for years, Brock. If at first you don't succeed, try, try that run again. You're exactly right. It's going to take more than one stop to deter those offensive coaches from calling another run play. They've got such faith in their group up front to leverage right at the point of attack and punch it in on the second time around. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah, here. They got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch your breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. First and ten now. Here's Daniels. That's complete. Here's Brown. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Shotgun snap to Daniels. He'll get this one to Brown. And he's a yard or two shy of the 30 before going out. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. On first down, here's Daniels. Nowhere to go with it, so he just throws it away. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Throw left side, complete. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. Working inside the red zone. Has a man, it's Ertz. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. Again, Daniels to the air. Escapes the pocket. And he doesn't slide down, and he pays for it. A big shot sends him to the ground. 
Washington calls it second time out. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. All plays on the table here for third and three. Out of the gun, Daniels. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. Now we have a stoppage. No challenges inside of two minutes in the half, but the replay official wants to take another look at this on their own. What we're looking to see here, did he get the hands under the football or did it skip up? They took a look just to be safe. You always appreciate that, but the call on the field stands. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Commander 14. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Deontay Hardy to return. And look at this return. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. The Ravens and Derrick Henry making their way back out on offense. The Ravens in a very good field position as they come up first and 10. Lamar back to throw. That's taken in by Henry. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 42. Caught by Flowers. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They've got first down from the 31. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. And the commanders get home, they drop him. Timeout taken by the Ravens. That is their final one. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Trying again, following the sack. Andrews with the catch. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. So we've reached halftime here in Baltimore. The Ravens flying into the break with a lead. We'll catch up with the rest of the league later on. We're right through halftime and on to the start of the third quarter. The Commanders kickoff unit out and ready as they send this away. Here's a return from the seven. Some good work on that return. Brock gets this up to the 33. Mm, after that return, he's looking pretty banged up out there. We're going to have a stoppage as team personnel comes out to look at him. Henry gets it here to start the drive. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. From the gun, Jackson. He's on the move. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. And he catches May down the right sideline. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. Set up now for first and ten. First and ten at the 36 yard line. Going with King Henry here. Along the sideline inside the 25. And he has this all the way down to the 14 yard line. They are now set for first and ten. First and ten at the 14 yard line. From the red zone now. He's got it, room to run. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot, second down coming up. Cut near the goal line. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. 
Edge, he's at the one. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. He's running it right on the option, and he will carry this across for the Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens grow the lead coming out of halftime. It's a Lamar Jackson touchdown. Well, we all knew somebody was running with it there, and when the defender started flowing towards the back, he made the right call that he would be the one to run it in. Yeah, he sure did. I think if he hands that off, this play does not end in a touchdown, but in a collision for his running back. Yeah. So not only is that running back thanking his quarterback, the rest of the guys are celebrating for that decision. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. The Commanders and QB Jaden Daniels headed out for their next look on offense. And among dual threats of the NFL so far this season, there has been no equal. He's leading. Ravens swoop it in, and they bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Another try following the sack. And they get to him again. And the back-to-back -back sacks. Nice work by the defense there. Sets him up with a third down. From the gun, it's Daniels. He puts some air under a deep throw to the left. Into double coverage. Ooh, don't want to do that. Nate Wiggins has got it. And the Ravens are going to have it after his second interception of the season. Well, no doubt they envisioned that as the start of a second half push for the lead. But the defense, well, defense had other ideas, Brock, protecting their team's advantage and taking possession back on the first play of the series. Not the way you needed to start the half if you were thinking comeback but exactly the way to start the half if you're trying to take this lead and step on it. That's a defender who senses the need for a splash play and delivers. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Short side option here, he's running left. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. A five yard gain on the play. That'll be first down, Baltimore. Play action. Here's Jackson. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Picked off. That's Bobby Wagner. And the Commanders are going to have it after his second interception of the season. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception, he's looking to throw. And down he goes, the Ravens' defense gets it done. And the big play drives them backwards, second down coming up. Take a look at that scoreboard and you just can't go backwards. If you're going to close this gap, you've got to stay on schedule. They've had a hard time doing so with a double-digit deficit. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Has a man. It's Brown. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. It's third mate. Need to get a chunk here. Daniels back to throw. That heater is going to fall to the turf. Just got a hand up on that to break it up. So that brings up fourth and long. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The home teams and this running back headed back out for a new series. And as some running lanes have closed, he's just found some new ones. Continuing to hit this defense, more good numbers well into this second half. 
Drive starts out with a first and ten. The drive begins with Henry. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. They say about great outfielders in baseball, there's just something to them. They've got a knack, a feel, an instinct to take the right line, the right angle. For safeties to create tackles for loss in the run game, it's the exact same attribute and skill set. Got to take that right angle and then go finish that runner. He's going to try to drop it in deep right. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Lamar now from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll get it up to the 44. He brings the offense up now for a first and 10. Here's an option play to the left. And he'll come up with a gain of three on the run up the middle. It may not show up as much on the old stat sheet, just a short little QB run, but what that does, Kate, is so important keeps that defense honest and in particular those defense alignment those cleats in the ground they're not just coming after you in the pocket now they've got to think about you as a runner as well and they catch up to him but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down they get 22 on that one and that's good for a ravens first down trying down the middle with henry and he's able to push forward to the 25. Well, we've talked about this before, Brock. The thinking's simple but effective. We'll stop getting it to this guy uh, when you find a way to stop him, and they have yet to do that today. You know there's just certain things up in this booth that I love. I think you could feel it emanating from me. And one of them is when you impose your will, and you don't back away from it. If they can't stop it, run it right at them. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. It arrived as the ball did to break things up. And now they need to get four on third down. Shotgun snap to Jackson. That's caught for the first. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens stretch their lead on the final play of the third. Well, Brock, not much to say other than the fact that this offense on point, they are just clicking today. Just rolling. I mean, this, this is clinic. This is what I call teaching tape, being well prepared, and more importantly, going out there and executing at a high level. So we hit the end of the third quarter. And after that last second, Justin Tucker to kick off. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Starting from the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Out comes the commander offense for another series. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. First and ten now. Here's Daniels. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Shotgun snap to Daniels. Forces that one, and it's intercepted. Marcus Williams has it. And it's a pick six as he runs it in for the touchdown. Defense getting in on the front block with that fourth quarter lead as they provide a nice little boost there with the pick six. Yeah, you could feel some of the desperation of this offense. And when you get into that mode, it is danger time. Defenses love to take advantage of it. I always say to you, Kate, play fast, but never in a hurry. You can't be rushed offensively because you can often be rushed into mistakes like that. A quick chance at redemption after that pick six as it's sent away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. The commanders all set to regain possession. And they didn't have much time to recover from that pick six. Need short memories here as they head back out. 
on target to his man Zacchaeus. And he's tackled with markers down. This one should be on the defense. Always a point of emphasis, right? Protecting the quarterbacks, and that play is going to draw the flag every time. Daniels on first down. Fires over the middle. Caught. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Now the shotgun give to Eckler. And that was an incredible effort just to make it back to the line. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Now Daniels off the play action. That one falls incomplete, but our attention's still behind the line. He got cleaned after that throw and drew the instant flag. Man, there's no way around this, Brock. They had that offense exactly where they wanted them, and the penalty gives them a whole lot more breathing room. Yeah, I'm thinking of the late great Dennis Green. He said it perfectly. We had them right where we wanted, and we let them off the hook. <laughs> and he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. Second down now, 7 to go. Out of the gun, Daniels. Oh, brother, it's another interception. Roquan Smith with the pick. And the Ravens are going to have it after his second interception of the season. Oh, man, Brock, they decided to air it out in pursuit of a... Visit to the red zone comes up empty. And that one stings, Kate. It really does. You have a limited opportunity of looks in that close, particularly as we get through the second half. But once you get, you have to. You have to finish with points. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. At the 20-yard line. We give to Henry on the inside handoff. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A gain of about three, so a third of what they needed. Third and six coming up. First throw for the backup now. He has the first over the middle. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. They run it with King Henry. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Give him about three yards, and now they're going to have third and five to figure out. Now third and five. Huntley looking to throw. Pass complete to Walker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. And he'll scurry forward for a pickup of three. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They got two yards there, and that leaves him with third down and five. It's a game of two. Brings up third and five. To throw, here's Huntley. Aguilar with the grab. 
And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's the two-minute warning here from Baltimore. Ravens close to picking up their fifth win. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. And they'll kneel this down. You got to expect the timeout is coming any moment now, right? If you want another shot with the ball, you'll need every second you can conserve on that clock. And he's going to take a knee. Okay, time for the defense to think about getting that ball back. And this is where you've got to conserve every second. Got to expect a timeout coming any moment now. Setting up for the kneel down on third. And they'll take a knee. They could stop the clock now if they choose. In the final moments of the game, every second counts. If you're going to call a timeout, you want to be right next to that official to signal it in just as that knee goes down. The Ravens going to punt this away, and here's Jordan Stout to handle that boot. And thankfully, he hasn't been needed until the final quarter. Only needed once last week in the win, and he matches that total here. So in front of the flock of fans in the stands, the Ravens get the win at home. And this winning streak continues to grow as they claim their fourth victory in a row.